Hey guys, welcome to my new cooking series called Health is Easy. I'm gonna be bringing you a ton of recipes and this is not just for people who track their macros. I want this to be for everybody. Just choosing healthier ingredients that you didn't even know was out there or you thought something was healthy but there really is a better alternative. I have some great examples to give you just with these recipes but today, is video one and we are starting with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I can't, it's November 10th right now and I looked at my calendar and was shocked by how close Thanksgiving is and I didn't even realize. So on Thanksgiving, my family and I'm sure yours too, they save, you know, it's one big meal. Like maybe you have, a, you know, breakfast or brunch but the big meal is kind of earlier in the evening, like three, four o'clock, and you just snack on appetizers up until dinner. So, I mean, snacking on appetizers and watching the football game, the parade, like being with family, it's just so much fun, but it doesn't have to ruin your diet either. I'm gonna bring you guys three different appetizers for Thanksgiving that are normal appetizers that you would have at your regular Thanksgiving, but just using healthier ingredients so you don't have to feel bad about indulging on some snacks before dinner. So what I'm making today is spinach and artichoke dip, like how good, how good is that? Everyone loves that. Bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Yes, a healthy version of bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers and spinach and roasted red pepper stuffed mushrooms. Sounds like a normal Thanksgiving, you know? I am gonna bring you healthy food that tastes good that you don't even, you'll bring it to your Thanksgiving dinner and no one will even know that it's a healthy alternative. So let's just dive right in because I'm gonna try to keep these videos 30 minutes or under and you know how much I love to talk. So I'm just gonna dive right in. We're gonna start with a spinach dip. This recipe is so simple. Okay, you're gonna get a big bowl and you're gonna start. Okay, cream cheese is the biggest component of this recipe. Now, cream cheese is very high in fat. When you try to go to for a healthier option, you're gonna look for the one that says less fat, right? So what's out there on the market is either regular with uh, regular cream cheese or one third less fat. So if you're at the grocery store trying to find a better option, obviously you're gonna to go to the, the one third less fat, right? There's a better option, whipped. If you see whipped anything, peanut butter, cream cheese, I can't think of anything else that's whipped right now, but chances are the whipped butter, the whipped ingredient is the best one out of all of them. So with my spinach and artichoke dip, the base is eight ounces of whipped cream cheese. We are gonna start by adding this whole container in the bowl. And instead of like sour cream or anything like that, we are going to do Greek yogurt, zero fat Greek yogurt, 170 grams. I'm gonna put the Greek yogurt on the scale, turn the scale on, 170. And if you don't have a scale or don't wanna weigh it out, it's just three quarters of a cup. And now we're gonna season it. We're gonna season like the liquid mixture. So we're going to do onion powder. We're gonna do one teaspoon of onion powder one tablespoon of minced garlic to save you so much time. I bought this from Trader Joe's. You can get this at any grocery store. It's just minced garlic. Saves so much time. So one tablespoon. I love garlic. No joke, when I was younger, this is not a lie. I used to eat the garlic out of here. It's not normal. But I'm just gonna crack some black pepper in here. We're just gonna do a quarter tablespoon of salt or just a pinch. And we're just gonna mix it all together so the garlic and the seasoning is all mixed in with the yogurt and the cream cheese. And you just want it totally incorporated. This is the simplest thing ever. Okay, 
artichoke hearts. One can of artichoke hearts, I think it's 14 ounces, you drain, rinse, and then just roughly chop. Nothing crazy, super simple. Pour that right in, the whole thing. And then 10 ounces of frozen spinach that you uh, de defrosted and drain, squeeze it with a paper towel and then just like roughly chop it, nothing crazy. Pour that right in. And cheese, spinach artichoke chip is so cheesy. So we're gonna do one cup of fat-free mozzarella cheese. There's no fat. This is packed with protein from the cheese and the Greek yogurt. You will not believe how much protein is in this. So one cup and mix this all together. You wanna make sure like the spinach is nice and broken up in the whole mixture. Now, once it's all mixed, it should look like this. Oh, yum, oh my God. And that's it for the most part. So if you were to make this, you could make this a day or two before Thanksgiving and just wrap it up and put it in your fridge. And then when it's time for the appetizers, take it out, pop it in the oven, done. So simple. The biggest thing on Thanksgiving is to get shit done ahead of time. So I am just going to, it's an eight by eight, pan, uh, eight by eight cooking dish, uh, pan, whatever the hell this is. And you just pour it right in there. This is a great appetizer for like anything, any family party, true story. So I've been, I've worked in restaurants like since I was 16, my first job ever was at Red Robin. And I was a waitress, or I was a hostess. And their spinach artichoke chip is so good. And then I worked at TGI Fridays. What's like the best freaking appetite? Like, hello, spinach artichoke dip. So like, I'm a pro at tasting spinach artichoke dip. It's so good. So you just want to Put it in your pan, your dish, even it all out. Oh my God, I'm so excited, you guys. Best appetizer ever and no guilt. You can get little pita chips. You can, I have like bell peppers and cucumber and celery and carrots. So good. Okay, one more step. So if you wanted to cook before Thanksgiving, so you, you know, have a you go to someone's house or if you're hosting Thanksgiving and you want it to be easy on yourself, pre-make this whole mixture, okay? Put it in your dish, your pan, dish, whatever, and put saran wrap over it, put it in the fridge, take it out. All you have to do the day of is top it with some Parmesan cheese. You will not believe this cheese, regular old, Regular old Kraft Parmesan grated cheese, 1.5 fat for two tablespoons, like, or teaspoons. This cheese, I always was like, oh no, I can't add that. It's so good. So you wanna do three tablespoons of this over the top. You really can just, I mean, it's Thanksgiving, so you can just like estimate it, but you just sprinkle it right over my hands is way easier. I always say on my meal prep Sundays on my Instagram, your hands are the best tool in the kitchen. They really are. So just take three tablespoons and this is in the oven. It's going to get all boily, boily. It's going to get all like brown and bubbly. The oven is at 400. The great thing about these recipes is that every single recipe is at 400 in the oven. So if you love all of these and you want to give every single one a try, it's so nice because you don't have to continuously like wait for something to be done and then put it in at a different temperature, wait for it to preheat, wait for it to cool down. That's like exhausting. So this is like, you can just keep putting stuff in the oven. That's it, I'm done. Like, was that not the simplest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Yum. So we are gonna bake this at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. Done, so simple. All right, so why the spinach dip is baking in the oven, I'm gonna start the jalapenos. So I already 
just to save time I already cleaned most of my jalapenos you cut them lengthwise and then just take out that middle part and all the seeds but I left two so I can show you how I do it and so this you want to use 12 jalapenos let me make sure you can see me um, but I always buy an extra one just in case something happens and I like get excited and just mess up so you want to cut it lengthwise so it's long and you can leave the stem on or keep it off I think it's really cute when the stem is on and then I'm gonna get close to you so you just want to use like a little paring knife like this and just cut really lightly the sides just to loosen it up and then just try to get underneath the little like rib of the jalapeno like that I took out that big part and you just want to clean it with your knife like just like you do like a bell pepper and what I found out, which is probably not the best thing, but who really cares? Your nail is like, a, so this is what I have left after the knife, but you want this middle piece, you want that out because it's bitter and all those seeds are super spicy. So I take my thumb and I just like scrape. And look at how fast and like done. Um, and make sure you have like a garbage bowl I was keeping all of the insides and stuff in the garbage bowl. So easy, so easy, so easy. Now wash your hands after you're done because they're hella spicy and you're not gonna realize or you're just gonna forget and then you're gonna wipe your eyeballs and you're gonna like curse my name. So just wash your hands after. And this recipe is so simple too and another great make ahead recipe. So you can stuff these and then save the, or you can even do the bacon part too. You can do everything, completely assemble them. They're gonna be perfect in your fridge for a day, for 24 hours. So you could do it the day before Thanksgiving and bring them over and then pop them in the oven wherever you go if you are traveling for Thanksgiving. So simple. So I'm gonna put these aside. I'm gonna make my mixture first. So cream cheese again for this. So of course I'm going with the whipped. All right, so eight ounces of cream cheese in your bowl. My uncle Alan, this is like, he's a great cook. Oh, he lives in upstate New York where I'm originally from and he makes two things, more than two. Well, anything under like the pasta umbrella, he does so well, he makes homemade pasta. And then you're gonna add a cup of fat-free cheddar cheese. Um, so all of his pasta, because it's homemade, so whenever he does lasagna, ravioli, everything is so good. And then the other thing, so pasta he makes, and then jalapeno poppers, this guy. So good. And he introduced me to dipping my jalapeno poppers in raspberry, like jam. Game changer. If you've never done it, you have to, with jalapeno poppers and mozzarella sticks, raspberry sauce, I'm telling you. So either one garlic clove or a teaspoon of garlic. And then paprika, I love paprika. It adds a little, just a little bit of smokiness. If you're not, it's not spicy, but if you're sensitive to spice or you don't really enjoy paprika, don't completely skip it because it does add a nice smoky flavor. It's really not spicy. If you're like me and you love paprika, do a table, a teaspoon. If you're not too sure, just do half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do a full teaspoon because I love paprika. I add it to everything. And then just a pinch of salt. And you wanna make sure your cream cheese is softened. And what that's really nice about the whipped cream cheese is that it's like never hard. It's really, really soft and fluffy because there's just more air in it because it's whipped. So. I'm just gonna mix this all together and this is gonna be the filling for my jalapeno poppers. Cream cheese, cheddar cheese, garlic, paprika. If everything was made out of this, the world would be a happier place. <laughs> if you get regular cream cheese and it's a little bit hard, you can use like a handheld mixer. 
but I don't feel like getting anything else dirty. So if you're lazy like me and just want like a really simple and quick way, a spoon works great, but for real, the whipped cream cheese is key. So that is what it looks like. It's a little bit pink from the paprika. The cheese is gonna melt in the oven and get nice and bubbly. We have 12 whole jalapenos that I have, ha I have halved. So this is gonna feed 24 people if, some, if you know everyone has one. So you wanna do 12 slices of bacon and cut them in half, cause we're just gonna wrap them. So you don't want a full slice of bacon on each small little jalapeno popper or else you'll have too much bacon and it won't cook in the oven. So just take your bacon out and cut it in half. Bacon, a tip for bacon. You can use turkey bacon, but like it's Thanksgiving, let's be real and use some real bacon. So Trader Joe's, if you're in America, I know like if you're in Canada or a different country, I'm so sorry about your Trader, you're not having Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's has bacon called cure, uh, Sunday Cured Bacon. Let me show you. I'm sorry, uncured, dry rubbed, sliced bacon, okay? 1.5 fat for one slice. That is incredible. This is the bacon. And it's gonna cook in the oven, so you wanna leave that raw. So what we're gonna do right now is just fill the jalapenos with the mixture. And I'm not gonna weigh it out and make it perfect. Like, it's Thanksgiving, we're just trying to have healthier options. And I did put this in my fitness mouth, so I do have the macros for it, uh, the calories and everything like that. Um, and I will put that all on the screen and let you guys know that when everything's done. But just take a little spoonful and just fill them, just like that. Jalapeno, stuffed, and then we got our bacon. So just wrap that little puppy up. Just like that, so simple. Set it down, get a toothpick. and put it right through the center, but then also just peek because you want to make sure that the end has the toothpick through it. Since we have bacon, okay, if you just put this on a baking sheet, the bottom of the bacon would be soggy and like not cooked. It would be gross and chewy and no one wants that. So you want to get a baking sheet put aluminum foil on it, and then get one of these. You can get these at your grocery store or Target. I think I got mine at Target, but just this rack. Put it on top, so anything, any cheese or any um, bacon grease that is going to drip down, for easy cleanup, you can just take the aluminum foil and throw it away. And the end of the um, toothpick just goes in right in one of those holes, and it just makes like this perfect, secure, little stand for the jalapenos. And then for the spinach chip, I'm gonna broil it right before I put the jalapenos in because I want to broil the top to get that like dark bubbly like texture and like that, just that cheesy bubbly look. You know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna finish putting together the rest of these 20 four jalapeno poppers. I'm gonna broil the um, spinach dip a little bit just so it gets like bubbly and like golden brown. And then when I'm done with the jalapeno poppers, right before I put them in the oven, I will show you what everything looks like. So I will see you in a second. All nice and wrapped. The grease from the bacon will drip and be caught in my little baking sheet. So what I'm gonna do is put it in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes and then at the very last, when it hits 25 minutes and my timer goes off, I'm gonna broil it, but I'm gonna watch it. I don't want to burn anything. I want the um, bacon to just crisp up. I want it really nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna put a timer on for 25 minutes. And now I'm getting started on my stuffed mushrooms. So what I'm doing, number one, is sauteing some spinach. It's a whole bag of spinach, four cups of spinach, just one bag that you buy at the grocery store. And I'm just going to wilt it down and then I'm gonna squeeze out all the liquid. And then I'm gonna show you how I clean and take the stems out of my mushrooms. So I will see you in just a minute. 
All right, so the spinach is cooked. I just did one whole bag on the stove top for just a couple minutes until it wilted. Isn't it crazy what one whole bag of spinach and that's all you get? But I drained it with a paper towel. Don't stress out if you can't get all the water out. It's exhausting and it burns your hands. I don't have like a cloth. If you have a cloth, that's awesome. But I just use paper towel. Do the best you can, no freaking worries. And then just chop it up with a knife, just roughly, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I wanna give you a little tip for how I clean my mushrooms. So what I do is I put them in this little strainer and I lightly rinse them with water just under the sink. And then I take a paper towel and since the mushrooms are wet, I just, like mushrooms have dirt on them because they come from the ground and they're just dirty. So you just wanna take a paper towel when they're wet and just wipe them off. And we're gonna save the stems. So wipe off everything, wipe off the stem. Like they're really dirty and you don't wanna eat that. So this is the most annoying part of doing stuffed mushrooms is like, wiping them down, so make your husband do it, so you don't have to. <laughs> all right, make sure they're all clean, and then to get the stem off, you just want to, I push on each side, oops, and you wanna save the stem. So I have a bowl just of the stems, and then I have a bowl of just the little caps, because we're gonna fill the little caps. These are spinach, and roasted red pepper stuffed mushrooms. Now the roasted red peppers, I just have the pre-sliced ones, the deli pre-sliced ones, but I still did chop them up because they're gonna go, the mixture is gonna go in the tiny little openings, like the little caps of the mushrooms. So you want everything tiny, so chop up everything. So we have spinach, the roasted red peppers, and we wanna utilize these stems. So I am just going to chop them up very finely. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see me. All right, so the mushroom stems are in just like little, little tiny chunks. And I have the stove preheating. I am going to put a teaspoon of minced garlic and the stems so they can all cook up and be nice and seasoned with the garlic. And I'm just gonna use cooking spray. I'm not gonna use any oil. That's gonna save us for with our fat as well. Ignore my dog in the background, trying to get the bacon in the oven. Teaspoon of garlic. And since it's chopped so finely, it will burn really fast. So you want to immediately add the stems. If you're cooking with fresh garlic, let it go for a little while, for like a minute or two. And we're just gonna cook these stems for two minutes, that's it. They're tiny, they're chopped. Mushrooms don't take a very long time to cook. My stove top, it's on a six setting, so like almost medium. I have an empty bowl. I'm gonna put in my chopped spinach. I'm going to put in my roasted red peppers and add that right in. I have a half of a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. The best calorie friendly, macro friendly one was this Progresso Italian style, not panko. Panko has a little bit more carb. I'm gonna add that. Oh my God, it smells like a supreme pizza in my house because I have bacon in the oven, and then mushrooms cooking, it smells like a supreme pizza. Oh my God, and cheese in the oven too. So I'm gonna add my mushroom caps and my garlic. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of just good old Parmesan cheese. And then one little pinch of salt. And you're just gonna mix it all together. When you drain the spinach with the um, paper towel, it'll get like stuck together and hard. So you just wanna kind of break it up with your fork. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The oven just beeped at me. 
which means the jalapeno poppers are almost done. I'm gonna broil them and I'm gonna check. They're really, really good. I kind of don't think these need to be broiled, at least mine, because the cheese is nice and, and like brown. That's what I want. I want that bubbly cheese. I might put it on a low broil just for like a minute or two and really, really watch it because I don't want the cheese to get any more dark. I just want the tops of the bacon to be as crispy as humanly possible. So I'm just gonna put it on a low broil and like babysit it for like a minute. All right, low broil. I'm gonna babysit these. I will show you in a minute or two when they come out of the oven. This food looks to die for. Oh my God, you have to see these jalapeno poppers. I put them on a low broil for like literally a minute. I was like right by the oven for one minute. This, like, don't, this is not bad. That's good. It's like, that's all cheesy, yummy, and the bacon is, like, good. And then here is the spinach dip. I let it broil for just a tad too long, so, like, this side got a little bit dark, but when, it's going to be, like, ooey and gooey, and, like, that is exactly what you want. So just watch it in the oven. Um, when I'm filming, I get carried away talking, so that just got a little bit burnt but it's gonna be so good. So now it's time to just fill the mushrooms. So let me set you up so you can see exactly how I fill the mushrooms with this delicious looking mixture. Take a little cap and just fill it on in there. And you want it to overflow a little bit. You want them stuffed. These are stuffed mushrooms. So really like try to pack them in there. just like that. So I'm just gonna finish these up. I think there's about like 16-ish, I can't remember, but I'm gonna finish these up. I'll show you before I put them in the oven. Right, peppers, nope, not peppers. Mushrooms are done, let me show ya. Last step is to just spray them a little bit with cooking spray on top so they get like golden brown. And they go in a 400 degree oven for just 20 minutes. And with the mushrooms, you can pre-make the mixture and you can pre-stuff them, keep them in the fridge in an airtight container and then just pop them in the oven on Thanksgiving day. Or you can make the mixture and then just fill, like stuff them and do all that on Thanksgiving day. So it's really up to you, but every single one of these recipes you can do beforehand save it and then just pop it in the oven on thanksgiving day and that's why i love these recipes so much and i did this all in one day like it wasn't hard wasn't stressful as long as you pre-chop everything and get all of your ingredients ready like pre clean the mushrooms and scrape out the jalapenos like all that stuff if that's out of the way it's so fast and these are the jalapenos oh my god oh my god So good, and I'm gonna try one. Oh my gosh, and they're not spicy. The bacon. Mm. These are so good, and let me, oh my God, they're, you would not know that there is fat-free cheese. The ultimate test, you know what it is. Husband test. Mm. What do you think? That's fucking awesome. Sorry for cursing, guys. They're mm. used to it by now. That is so good. Yeah? Can I have one more? Yeah, you can. Uh, we have 24 and. What? Good pre gym snack. We are not. I'm not doing anything with these appetizers. Like, can someone come and eat this? Like. Mm. They're not in my macros, I didn't, I don't know. They're not spicy, yay. They're not spicy. And then I'm gonna have him try the spinach dip too. Mmm. What's in this? Um, artichokes, spinach, mm. whipped cream cheese, and fat-free mozzarella. Can you tell if there's fat-free? Never. 
So if some, if you had this for Thanksgiving, you wouldn't have any idea. No, never. So, two out of three is a win. 20 minutes for these mushrooms. And I will show you what they look like. So far, these are a winner. Thanksgiving is in two weeks and I kind of want to make everything all over again. But we have so much food, I don't know what to do with it all. I need to give it away. What you doing over there? Awesome. They're really good. They are so good. Okay, I'll catch you when the mushrooms come out. Bye. All the appetizers are done. I can't wait to show you. Oh my gosh. This is the spinach dip. We like broke into it a little bit. The macros for the spinach dip. For one serving, which is a quarter of a cup, it is six protein, five carbs, and five fat for a quarter of a cup. And you can have this with pita chips, you can do celery, cucumbers, carrots, bell peppers, anything, or a freaking spoon, it's so good. The jalapeno poppers, oh my god, I think these are my favorite. For one jalapeno popper, it is three protein, two carb, and four fat. Absolutely incredible for a jalapeno popper. And the stuffed mushrooms. The stuffed mushrooms for one, it is one protein, four carb, zero fat. It's a one biter. Mm. Oh my gosh, the mushrooms are so soft, but still have like a little crunch to them. But like very minimal, but like just what you want. You know, they're not mushy. It's not soggy. Oh my God. Oh my God, the breadcrumbs taste so good. They're a little cheesy. Whew. These are appetizers that you can enjoy on Thanksgiving completely guilt-free and honestly not know that they have healthy ingredients. You would have no idea and neither will your family or your friends. So please give these recipes a try. I love every single one. They're absolutely incredible. Please like this video if you liked my new cooking series. I'm really, really excited and fired up about it. And if you tried the recipes, I would love to know how you liked them because I love each and every one. So I would just love to hear how you liked them. And please subscribe because there will be more videos like this once a week. I'm gonna be doing a cooking show. A cooking episode once a week so thank you so much for tuning in to health is easy i am going to do thanksgiving side dishes next week so i will see you then bye